Dear children, till now under the chapter human settlements, we have discussed about the rural settlements, the factors affecting the rural settlements and the types of the rural settlements. And now we'll be talking about the urban settlements. What are the urban settlements? They are much larger than the rural settlements. Towns are very compact than the villages and urban people are largely engaged in secondary and tertiary activities. Towns and cities, they provide goods and services to the surrounding rural areas and in turn, they receive the food and raw materials from them. Towns and cities are generally closely connected to the rural areas. Now, we'll be talking about the types of the towns. Generally, there are two types of the towns. One is statutory towns and number two, census towns. Now children, what are the statutory towns? All the places which have municipality or corporation, cantonment board or notified town area committee, they are all known as statutory towns. Now what are the census towns? All other places which satisfy the following criteria. Number one, the minimum of 5,000 of the population in that area. Number two, at least 75% of the male working population should be engaged in non-agricultural activities. And the last criteria is the density of population should be at least 400 people per square kilometer. Then only the town will be known as a census town. Now we talk about the urbanization of India. India has a long history of urbanization. Urbanization has increased 11 fold from 1901 to 2001. The percentage of the urban population to the total population also increased from 10.84 to 27.78 during the same period. Now look at the screens children and you'll see the trends of urbanization from 1901 to 2001. There are the two columns besides the census years. If you just see the table, the first column tells you about the percentage of the total population. And the second column tells you about the growth of the population in that particular census year. So from 9001 to 2001, the percentage of the total population increased from 10.84 to 27.84, which is quite a heavy increase in the population. The phenomenal growth of urbanization in India is the result of the large scale of migration of the rural people to urban areas. Children, you must be remembering under the chapter migration, we discussed about the streams of migration and one of the streams we talked about was from rural to urban areas, which is very common in India these days. And that is how the urbanization in India is increasing. Growth of cities involves two processes. One is the enlargement of the urban centers and number two, the emergence of the new towns. Now, we talk about the different bases of classification of the urban settlements. So there are two bases. One, the size of urban towns. And number two, the functions of the towns. Because the cities, they are known by either the size or the function it is important for. Towns and cities based on population size Towns with less than 1 lakh population, city with more than 1 lakh population, and the metropolitan city, as already we have discussed, the population varies between 1 to 5 million, and the urban agglomeration. So that means agglomeration 
where we have the urban outgrowth of the city. Look at the screens and this will tell you about the class wise number of towns and cities because the cities they are classified into six types 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, these types they are based on the size of population. If you look at the table from the down you will find that class 6 cities they have the population less than 5000 and if you look up at the first type of the cities where the population is 1 lakh and above. So, that means this is how the types of the towns they are classified on the basis of the population number. So, you can see at the screens and read the number for the various classes of the towns. So, this is a statistical representation of the distribution of urban population. This shows that class 1 cities is the cities where we have the maximum percentage of the urban population. So, that means 61 percent population and class 6 cities they have only 0.3 percent of the urban population. So, these cities class 6 cities we have just seen on the screens that means the population which is only 5000 and for class 1 cities the percentage of the population is 61 percent where the population number is always more than 1 lakh. Now, majority of the population urban population that is 61 percent around where the population is over 1 lakh lives in 423 large cities of the country. There are 6 cities Greater Bombay, Calcutta, Delhi, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad where the population is over 5 million. So, these cities they are also known as mega cities. In 1901 when the first formal census was conducted there was only one metropolitan town in the country and that was Calcutta. From 1911 to 1941 only one more was added and that was Mumbai. So, till 1941 there were only two such cities. In 1951 there were another addition of the towns that is three towns were added Delhi, Chennai, Hyderabad increasing the number to 5. In 1961 two more were added one Ahmedabad another Bangalore raising the number to 7. In 1971 census another two were added to that one Kanpur, another Pune raising the number to 9. In 1981 3 more were added Lucknow, Jaipur and Nagpur. In 1991 there were 23 such metropolitan towns and in 2001 there were 35 metropolitan cities. So, that means the urban population was increasing definitely because of the migration reason. So, if you look at the screens children this is a map of the census 2001 showing the various metropolitan centers and their placement in the different states. Now, the another basis of classifying the urban center is the functional classification. So, no two towns are identical and each town has its own size, location, site, situation and that is unique in its performing the different functions. Functions performed by the towns comprise the best criteria for their classification and there are some towns in which the one function far excels the other functions. Now, we classify the towns on the basis of functions. They are administrative towns, industrial towns, transport towns, commercial towns, mining towns, cantonment towns, educational towns, religious and cultural towns and lastly we have the tourist towns as well. 
Now, we'll be taking up the administrative towns. So that means the towns sporting the administrative headquarters, they are known as administrative towns. And dear children, all the state capitals are the administrative towns. There are some states capitals which perform the functions other than administration, for example, industry, trade, transportation, etc. And the examples are Chandigarh, Gandhinagar, etc. Industrial towns, the towns which grow for the industrial development, they are known as industrial. The examples are Jamshedpur, Durgapur, etc. Transport towns, some are the seaports which are known as the transport towns because such places they facilitate the imports and exports. And there are other towns which are the hubs of the inland transportation, for example, Agra, Katni, Itarsi, etc. Commercial towns, the towns specializing in trade and commerce, they are known as trading towns. And some towns are generally engaged in agricultural products. Kolkata, Chinnai, Delhi, they are such examples. Mining towns, where the mining activity is the main function, for example, Digboi or Jharia. Cantonment towns, the towns which are basically known for the defense facilities, for example, Meerut Kent, Ambala Kent. Educational towns, the towns which provide the educational facilities to the students, for example, Varanasi, Rurki, etc. Religious and cultural towns, the towns which are famous for their civilization, culture and religion, and they attract the tourists. For example, Haridwar, Rishikesh. And lastly, the tourist towns, the towns which are famous for their natural beauty, health climate and other facilities. Srinagar, Dalhousie, Shimla, Kullu. So these are the best example of the tourist towns. So children, we have discussed the urban centers, the rural centers, the factors affecting their distribution and the types of these rural areas and lastly we discussed about that the towns their classification is based on the two major factors number one the size of the population and number two the functions these towns perform thank you